Is he alive? Yes, Mrs. Carrington. But Mr. Colby has suffered a massive coronary. Well, he will live, though. We'll know in a few hours. Our firstborn child was terribly and cruelly taken away from us. His name was Adam. Adam Carrington. Still can. It's not over yet, JR. Well, oh, I'm gonna get in jail. One way or another. I'll kill you first. Well, you're gonna have to because I'm gonna get him. You're never gonna get him. You make me sick. Keep out of my way, Pamela, or I'll destroy you. I'll destroy anybody that tries to take my boy away from me. She's dead. You bastard. Dead. Well, he must have pushed her off that balcony. I saw him in the pool down. If anybody wanted her dead, it wasn't me. I'm worried sick about my little boy. I'm scared of death. He's gonna come to some harm. Can you explain how that railing got broken? No. Where's my boy? Stephen Farlow, San Angelo. That's the Southern Cross Ranch. Mr. Ewing looking to make trouble? My boy was kidnapped. I want him home. And I want you to arrest these people. D.A. Martin Purcell thinks you had the best motive in the world for murder. And that's absolutely nonsense. Maybe we better talk about it headquarters. Is he dead? My God. What condition is he in now? Critical, but stable. He's paralyzed. I just want to see him. I don't want you to. I can't leave this place now. I'm afraid if I do, the spell will be broken, and soon we'll never wake up. If I had my tonsils out yet, Mommy? Are you crying, Karen? No, I'm better now. My throat feels so dry. Did they operate yet? You were asleep. I don't feel very rested. But you're awake now. Am I going to be all right now? <laughs> yes, sweetheart. You're going to be fine. My husband, how is he? I'm afraid I can't offer you much hope. Sabrina Cross, this is my husband, Richard Chen. And this is your son. Is this your idea of a joke, Terry? I didn't believe it at first either. What's that? That's an earthquake. Hey, it's all right. It's just a little tremor. Emma, you all right? Emma! Where are they, Dad? Terry, Michael, uh... Oh, my God. Oh, Emma, darling. Uh, well... I'll go get some help. Wayne is dead. Jeff Wainwright has escaped from custody. Thinking of Wainwright just scares me to death. You must have been terrified. Angela, you don't know anything about it. Channing, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of Chase Giaberti. Kill me. You gotta help me, Skyler, please. This is Angela Channing. This is Skyler Kimball. Did you try a few Frenchmen just because you were there? Unlock the liquor. Because 
I'm going to drink myself into oblivion. The uh, fight between us is over? I can't come back to South Fork. And you can't come back to me. You drunk. Oh, I'm cold sober. Now I'm going to kill you. for the kids. You have no obligation to me because I'm not your daughter. You need top grade construction. What's the solution? Well, you gotta dig it out and re-pour. with all the wheeling and dealing and backstabbing that I'm going to. We leave in the morning. You're a drunk and an unfit mother. The sooner we have you put away in that sanitarium, the better off you're going to be. He's got to be stopped. I can't rely on anyone else to do what I have to do. Dying here out gallivanting around someplace. Sue Ellen was sick. You mean drunk? Yeah, I was right. You need to be back in that sanitarium. His blood pressure's falling. His blood is afraid of. He must be bleeding again. It's most likely the spleen. Let's get him to the OR. Mr. Ewing, we gotta know something. We shot you, Mr. Ewing. Thank you. 
fluttered in Italy, we have to honor her last request. We're going to Italy. Richard has just um, offered us the use of his jet. Everything is proceeding as planned. We've been sabotaged. I'm gonna die? No, of course not. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Bobby Ewing, splendid young man, loving son. I'm really not an alcoholic. Oh, so, Helen. Yes, you are. I had one brother, and he's dead. Nobody can ever replace him. Least of all, you two. Go back to your cowboy. Go back to your bottle. Go anywhere you want. Just get out of my sight. Would you really like to help? Yeah, of course I would. Well, then go on in the house and throw Sue Ellen over your shoulder and carry her the hell off the outboard. I can build a new life if you just believe in me and love me. Cliff, I think you should know that JR has asked me to marry him. When I found out that Cliff was using Wentworth funds, I fired him. I think it's time you did the same with JR. He used Ewing funds to destroy my son. My own brother tried to black me. So I'm going to vote to throw him out of Ewing Oil until I take him apart. And I'm going to remove you as president of Ewing Oil. You won't be able to do that. He said the things you did. Your heart went out to Cliff, I know that. But now it's time to come home to Southport. John Ross is waiting for us there. He'll be wondering where his mom and daddy is. JR, I, I can't go now. I understand your concern. But you're not in love with Cliff. What are you trying to make out of this, Will? I let him down. No, he didn't. He let himself down. He stole money from his mother, and he couldn't pay it back. Simple as that. He must have been hurting so much to do this to himself. He has to live. He just has to. You're not Christopher's father. You don't have any claim on him at all. Yeah, Bobby, just calm down. You tried to blackmail me with a child you thought was your own. You're scum. I vote my 20 shares, John Ross's 10, and Ray's 10, that I remain president of Ewing Oil. Lucy, out. Well, we have a tie. If you vote to dismiss JR, you will have to step in and run Ewing Oil.